We're now going to add the ability to flash data with a session. So we're going to be finishing off our session class that we've already looked at when we looked at cross-site request forgery protection. Um, and we're going to be creating this flash method. Now this is a concept that might be new to some people, uh, but essentially flashing data is the ability to um, put very, very simply flash a message to someone and then the next time they refresh, it isn't available anymore. And that's essentially what we'd we tend to use this functionality for. So we're going to bake this into our register.php code um, and we're going to we're going to bake this in here basically and then uh, an output a message here just as an example. Um, but we can do this after redirects as well. So we'll, we'll check, we'll see how it makes sense here and then we'll use that later on uh, once a, register, a user has been successfully registered. So let's go ahead and, uh, and start to build a method. Um, and it, it, it can get a little confusing. It can seem like, you know, why, why does this functionality exist? But we'll see and we'll see a live example of actually how this works. So we're going to say public um, static function so we'll create a public uh, method called flash and we want to say um, a name for the flash data and the contents of the flash data as well and we're going to set that to null uh, initially uh, or it could in fact just be an empty string to be honest that would make more sense so the first thing we're going to do is check if the session exists so we're going to say if self exists name if um the session does exist we want to set um the the value that we return to the session data that we've set return it and also delete it um, so that basically means we're creating a message giving us ourselves the ability to show it on the screen or output it to our page and then delete it so the next time a user refreshes the message goes because if for example a user registers you want to redirect them to a home page and say you've been successfully registered you don't want them then to refresh the page and have that message appear again it, it's unprofessional it doesn't really matter uh, it doesn't affect the functionality of your application but in terms of the usability it doesn't look great so we now say we want to store the session in this variable so we say self get and remember we're using self with the scope resolution operator because this is these are static methods and we're going to say self get name to so the name of the session what we're then going to do is we're going to say self delete name. So we delete the session and then we return the session. Fairly straightforward. Now, otherwise, we want to actually set the data. So we're going to say self put name string. So we're using the put method that we created before to put a specific value in a specific name. If you're still not following, don't worry. We're going to now use this, and this is the method complete, but you'll now see why this is so useful. So if a user does successfully register, we're going to say session flash. Uh, we'll say success. You registered successfully. So that's the 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 the, re the reason we're using it, we're flashing a message called success um, and we're saying you registered successfully. Now let's go ahead and just temporarily uh, use the header um, uh, header function to redirect ourselves to index.php and on index.php, let's go ahead and open that up. Um, I'm going to uh, create a, a small check just to say if session uh, has success echo session flash success now what this is going to do is and you can do this a little better um, if you want uh, rather than having to have another if statement here um, you could um, in fact we could we could remove the need for this altogether to be honest um, and we could just say echo session flash success um, it, because we could just return an empty string from our our uh, our thing here so we could just say return nothing otherwise so an empty string otherwise the only reason you might want to do this if statement is you might want to inject additional markup around this a uh, little message or something like that so i think we'll keep it like this for now um and we'll just get rid of this return so if the if session has success then we want to echo the flash message success once this has run 
remember in session here we are going to be removing it so we're going to be returning it anyway but we're also going to be removing it so the next time it won't run it well it will run but none of these will be true so nothing will happen so let's go ahead and check this out um, let's go to our register page uh, so register blah 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 we get all our errors let me just go ahead and put my data in so Alex Garrett. okay so now I'm going to register and if this has all gone well we're going to be redirected to index.php and we're then going to be presented with the message that we've defined in our code um, in here the next time we refresh index.php that message will disappear because we delete the flash session so if we click register ah oh, of course username already exists uh, let's say Ashley then so register ah okay fine um, session oh sorry um, I'm saying session has and it's session exists lovely so let's go back to uh, register.php and we'll say username Ashley password password and I'll just put Alex Garrett so if I click register ah okay nothing's happened so uh, let's see what could have happened here um, let's return session so returning the session self get name exists name let's just check session okay let's just try this once more there we go okay I'm, I'm not sure why it didn't work before but um okay so now what we've done is we've registered we've we've redirected to index.php and we have um, output this flash session message now what's going to happen is when we refresh because the session has been deleted uh, it won't be it won't be shown the next time so that's basically where we're at with flashing um, with this flash method basically just a flash uh, a message so we're flashing a message to um, the user deleting the session therefore it's not done uh, you don't have to call it a flash it's just basically a, a common way to describe this kind of functionality but um, with the end of that, that basically means that our session uh, class is complete.